My name is Chris Burkhard. I'm a travel photographer and I shoot a lot of surfing as well as adventure sports. And um, my work's taken me all over the world. And I get a lot of questions on what I take and what I bring. And I've found a couple items that I take around the world pretty much are worth their weight in gold. And so I wanted to share basically my packing list with you and, and kind of what I've found to be the most useful when traveling abroad. Um, first things first. I try to travel light and um, I try to use one check-in bag if I can and I pretty much trust a lot of my equipment to just one bag which is crucial and I've been through a lot of them. The one I found that works the best is the, uh, the Big Agnes um, Steamboat Roller and it's, it's basically an 80 liter um, <laughs> duffel bag that has backpack straps, roller wheels. Um, it's great for when you're in a rainy airport somewhere in Norway or Iceland and, and it's uh, just hailing and Sleeting. None of the contents are going to get wet inside. It's not submergible, but it pretty much does the trick. Um, first things first, Theracane. <laughs> this is something I've taken everywhere with me because after you know 15, 20 hours of travel, you know your your back is shot, and uh, having a little something to to you know get out the kinks and everything really makes a huge difference. So that is one piece of equipment I can move home without. Um, a lot of my work is based around the ocean and shooting in the water, shooting surfing, so bringing a wetsuit is crucial. Um, this is my 5 mil suit and when I travel to location, I like to, uh, I like to make sure the suit is, is open and, and dry and so none of the seams are getting bent or, or stretched or anything and it's just basically preparing your suit to, to last a lot longer. That as well as, um, as, well as you know, washing off clean water is crucial. This suit I have here is a 5 mil. Um, I also use 5 mil gloves and 5 mil booties, sometimes 7 mil depending on how cold the water is. But this trip I'm packing for right now is actually Norway, so um, this is a 5 mil suit and uh, pretty much everything I need to stay warm in the water. So this thing is worth its weight in gold. Um, it has smoothie front and smoothie back, which really helps with the wind chill as well. Um, super crucial item. Um, fins. Can't really talk about those. One item that I really value is uh, my little uh, Goal Zero Lantern, which basically is awesome. Recharges your cell phone. Actually, in the front, it's all rechargeable via USB, which is just stuck right there. Or an emergency, you can also crank it up and have an emergency light as well. Um, can't tell you how many times I've been, you know, packing outside late at night or in the rain, and to have a big source of light is really crucial. Um, being able to camp anywhere at any, <laughs> at, uh, at basically last minute's notice is really crucial to me. Um, I, it's, it seems excessive sometimes, but I do bring a lightweight camping kit with me at all times. Um, I just stuff this in a little uh, event, basically dry bag. Um, and so the bag that I, the sleeping bag that I basically bring everywhere is my Z-Packs 10 degree um, water treated down bag and it's a, a ultra light backpacking um, sleeping bag made of down. Um, the reason I love it is because it, there's no hood so it's great for if you're like in a hostel somewhere sleeping in the car. Um, I'm usually wearing my down jacket anyway so that provides my hood, my head warmth and this thing is just, is, it's worth its weight in gold. It's basically ultra compressible, ultra light, under two pounds, 10 degrees. Uh, it can pretty much go anywhere and pack down to the size of a you know, Nalgene. Um, and so this is just something I throw in the bag. It's also great for you know extra padding. You can like sort it around everything you need. Um, things awesome. Also with my ultralight kit is a uh, NeoAir sleeping pad. Can't tell you how many times I'm out shooting northern lights or shooting something just freezing cold and I want a little extra padding so I'm not sitting on the frozen snow or something. That makes all the difference right there. Um, in this bag, I also have a. Uh, I also have my um, Big Agnes Ultralight Fly Creek Platinum UL1, which is a sub two pound tent um, that is worth its weight in gold. Once again, um, this thing all packs down to a super super fit, waterproof three season tent. Um, something I've used everywhere, and I pretty much um, you know have used it in snow, rain. Uh, you know, desert heat, you name it. It's a tent that kind of always goes with me everywhere. Um, moving on, dock kit, just uh, essentials in here. I can't really think of anything crucial except for 
some good um, some good lotion when your skin gets dry and cracked. Um, this is my clothing bag. Pretty much everything I need for anywhere from five days to two weeks on the road. I, uh, I really dig this thing because it's a, it's a Patagonia ultralight um, ultralight duffel. Packs all the way down into its own pocket, but it basically has everything you need for you know for traveling on the road and, and can fit a, a large amount of stuff. Socks, you know, beanies, all the warm stuff, underlayers. Uh, I'm not going to go through all my stuff here, but there's one piece of clothing that I, I love for cold weather, and that's just like a, a killer mountaineering climbing bib. Um, I wear the uh, Patagonia knife blade pants a lot of times when I'm when I'm out, you know, running around through the snow, and pretty much in everything but a, you know a full-on you know submerged downpour. These things are going to keep you super dry. Um, Never traveling here without board shorts. Um, I'm a big fan of merino wool. Um, the layering systems that uh, you know are just basically meant for next to skin comfort as well as breathability. Um, so merino is, is something that I travel with everywhere, mainly because you know when you're going somewhere for two weeks, no laundry, this stuff will basically hold your odor like nothing else. So that's super valuable to me as well. Um, also in this thing, it's kind of like never ending. I have my Enduro tripod, ultra lightweight, with a really right stuff head. Um, this is just, you know, my standard all use tripod. It can hold everything from my big lens, heavy kit to something super small too, and it's it's light, packed to a backpack, everything you need right there. Um, bring an ultra light pack towel as well. This is uh, just something that I I always travel with. Getting, you know, having a wet wetsuit, wet water housing, being able to wrap something in this. Super compressible, absorbs a lot, but really great to have in the room. Small Joby tripod, you never know when you're going to need something like this. If the other one gets, you know, stolen, lost, whatever, it's great to have a little backup. These are great, you know, ground level, can wrap around something. Cool for long exposures if you're just going super ultra light. Goal Zero solar panel. Um, I have my charging units in my other bag, which we'll get to in a second, but this guy is great. You can just, you know, charge everything by the sun, um, phone straight into there, as well as can recharge AA, AAA batteries and some other larger units. Um, so that's inside my big bag. Um, this is pretty much, you know, the thing that I, that I bring everywhere with me. It's, uh, it's durable, lasts a long time. I think the key is since it has wheels, it really allows the, the, the material to last longer because you're not dragging it across the airport floor. And when it comes to you know waterproofing, this is something that is crucial because all these seams just get thrashed the more that you you know travel and stuff. All right, uh, let's move on to the carry-on equipment that I bring with me when I travel. Um, I usually try to try to bring as much as I can on the plane. Obviously, when you're dealing with camera gear, sometimes you can't. But um, this is what I found works the best. This is the uh, F-Stop Lightroom Roller. It's a uh, awesome, lightweight, packable um, kind of multi-day bag that can also fit in here perfectly. They're ICU units, which is like their internal camera units. Um, I usually have two separate ones. One will be for water housings, one will be for extra cameras. First things first, I have a little ditty bag. Inside here is just an extra headlamp, a uh, little Phoenix one. Um, Sensor cleaners, batteries, uh, long exposure, just extras, you know, whatever, whatever I need. Um, two walkie talkies, waterproof. These things are totally lifesavers for a trip because basically anytime you have opportunity to, you know, save on, you know, texting, using your phone, these things are going to make a world of difference if you're lost or in a different country. Always bring these extra batteries too. Um, <clears throat> Right here I have a NEX water housing, and inside of it is a Sony NEX. Uh, this little guy is just a lightweight, kind of cheaper water housing that has amazing results, and I tend to use it all over the world. Uh, love this thing, it's great for like long lens, 50 millimeter. Um, has every button gizmo you could imagine, and uh, it's really awesome to use. I love this little kit, it's great. Um, made by some um, Asian company, I'm not sure who. Um, little blower kit. Another water housing, this is just a uh, EWA Marine bag. Um, you've probably seen these before. They're, they're basically as you know, simple as they get, just like little plastic bags with a clamp top. 
These are great for when you just want to get some unique perspective. You know, maybe you're shooting a waterfall and you want to get like halfway in the river or kind of shoot something cool. Or um, for me, I use this a lot when I am shooting surfing from shooting little empty waves and I'm just standing up in the shore break. Um, these things actually look really, really good. So again, just trying to pack as light as I can. Um, in here, I would also have a, a Sony a77 DSLR, but it's being used to uh, cordless. So. Um, this is a backup lens, you know, backup telephoto lens, 70 to 300 G series Sony lens. Love this thing, it works really, really well. Um, really light, small, shot a lot of photos with this for magazines. Um, this is a little Sony or Nikon AW1. This is a fully waterproof, fully dustproof, shockproof, little basically mirrorless camera that at first I thought was a gimmick, but after trying it out, the files are incredible, and I've been really impressed by how fast the autofocus is. It shoots 15 frames a second. Um, thing's awesome. I've shot a lot of surfing with this, empty waves. It's great to have something when the weather turns absolute crap. You can just have this out, you know, shooting in full downpour and still get some great moments. So this thing is great. I, I would recommend, you know, having something like that with you. Um, chargers, um, another lens for the Sony, a 10 millimeter, which is like a fisheye. Um, power inverter. Uh, always good to have for the car. A lot of times I'm spending so much time in the car that being able to drive and um, being able to charge while driving is crucial. Um, chargers, uh, another lens, 10 to 18 millimeter for my Sony NEX. In here I've also got um, extra headlamp, just some uh, basically water housing materials. And this is basically one of my, my favorite pieces of equipment. I bring this as a pen, and it's a, a UV filter for water. And I've used this in India and you know backpacking in Yosemite. It's basically one of the lightest weight you know water filtering systems you can have. It filters all your water via UV light. It's not really made for you know debris or anything like that in the water, but uh, this thing is, is awesome to bring. Love having it with me. It's a it's a super super worthwhile item. There like under hundred bucks. Um, reading material. And that's about that. One of the one of the coolest things about this bag is that you know a lot of times you'll be you know going on a small commuter flight and all of a sudden they're like, hey, you can't bring this size carry-on on, and all of a sudden you have to check it. So being able to pull out an ICU and just be able to grab this and bring it with you is, is a huge advantage. So that to me makes this bag rad because I can pop that out, I can put it in my backpack, or I can just shove it underneath the seat. They're airport compatible. Um, it's, a, it's a really great bag to have on the road. Thanks. Okay, so my very last bag, and this is basically the pack that travels with me everywhere. Um, this is my workhorse. This is the F-Stop uh, Mountain Series Tilopa. And this is basically their lightest weight bag that they make in their Mountain Series. Um, they actually just made an ultralight version of this, but for this trip, since I'm dealing with a little more weather and harsher conditions, um, I want the, the part of their series. So first things first, I can't really travel with knives or uh, multi-tools on the flight, but um, I like to be able to have them on my pack as soon as I land. So basically these guys um, are two pieces of equipment made by Gerber. Um, I bring these pretty much everywhere I go. Just having a good knife on you and a good multi-tool that kind of does everything is great to have. Um, always want to make sure that I have a piece of equipment that has like a screwdriver so I can work on tripods or cameras or whatever. Um, second piece of awesome gear, that goes on my back is uh, my, my hard drive. And usually I'm just traveling with this. Once I get to location, I'll put this by my computer. But this is made by Western Digital, just a My Passport, but it's a, inside of basically a small Pelican case, and it's water sealed, shockproof, airtight. Um, you know, sh basically anything happens, this thing's gonna protect it, which is pretty awesome to have a little dedicated case for your hard drive. And when I go on trips, I usually bring a copy of all my you know, best portfolio images with me. Um, just in case something happens, it's always great to have one on your, on your body. That's my main source of backup right there. Um, in my pack, you'll always find some cliff bars. Um, I like the shot blocks because they, they get wet or something like that. These are always going to be good. Um, great shove into a wetsuit too if you're going to be swimming for a long time or doing something like that. Um, some of my favorite flavors. Um, and I'll bring a bunch more of those in my big bag too. Uh, let's move around this pack. Let's see. Uh, top lid, another headlamp, uh, just, a, just a BD one that I always bring with me as well. Um, 
Memory cards are always gonna stay up in here in this top pouch. And there's a nice clip here, and so I'll usually clip this into here just so they don't get misplaced or fall out for any reason. I prefer um, SD cards simply because they're waterproof and they are you know, shockproof and they're just a little more resilient. There's no you know, open prongs or anywhere with dirt or wind can get inside. I've had a lot of um, CF cards get ruined because of that, just because we're traveling to conditions that are super windy and kind of brutal. So, um, so basically, when, I, when I'm on the flight, you know, I like to have a little ditty bag that I can just basically pull out of my pack and shove down on my feet. And this is that. And the, the, the beauty of this little pack, it's actually a little chalk bag for bouldering. And um, I love this thing because when I'm on location and I just want to be going around town or shooting at the beach or somewhere like that, and I'm not shooting action, this is a great camera bag for my small A7. Um, in this bag, I'll usually just have some good reading material, Edward Abbey book. Um, little like dock kit for the plane, like just with, you know, sleeping stuff and, you know, chapstick and all the things you need. Extra pair of sunglasses, um, earphones or headphones, eye mask, uh, basically kind of all that stuff that you need just for a flight, um, including a little cell phone charger, portable one by Goal Zero. It's uh, called a Switch. And uh, this thing's nice and light and compress way, way down when there's nothing in it, which is nice. Um, so like I said, I, I try to make sure that I always have everything on my back that I need for the trip. And so essentially this bag, everything else got lost. This bag could help me to get and shoot everything I need for assignment. Um, I really hate loose cables, so it's nice to have um, small lightweight ones. These are made by Skosh. This is an um, iPhone 5 charger, lightning bolt, um, as well as a micro USB. So most of my headlamps and my chargers all charge with micro USB and my camera. So having this is awesome. I don't have a bunch of loose cables in here. I just have, you know, a couple of those for the countries. This is a, an awesome little, um, basically a, a multi-charger for different types of batteries. Um, laptop, extra batteries, stuff like that. Um, MacBook Air. This is always just a, an emergency item that I bring. A lightweight rain shell is awesome because I found you know, if you have a dedicated you know, camera or backpack cover, waterproof backpack cover and a camera cover and all that stuff, it's great, but you know, I like something that can multiply for a bunch of different uses. And this is great because it can cover over a camera. It can go over my backpack and cinch down. I can wear it if I get wet you know, or if I need more protection. Um, and, and I find that this is just something that's lightweight, you know, Patagonia one, can pack in the bottom of my bag, and it's always there. So, so as with all F-Stop products, um, which is cool, they, they all feature, you know, they're all ICU compatible. And the ICU is basically just this internal camera unit right here. And so for this pack, um, one thing that's great about these two is they have extra padding that while you're traveling you can use, and then when you're done traveling you can take that out and just have it super lightweight, stuffable inside here. So this is basically the, the kit that travels with me everywhere, especially when I'm shooting you know, action assignments or need the length. This is a Sony A99, um, as well as the 70 to 400. And um, the camo on the lens is just for precipitation. When I'm going to wet climates, I like to use something that can absorb some of the salt water, some of the sea breeze. Um, it's not just for looks. <laughs> uh, the A99 is a great camera. Um, shot a lot of editorial assignments, covers with it. Um, it's rad because six frames a second, it's one of the lightest you know, DSLRs on the market, or it was before the A7. And uh, it can shoot also in crop mode, so if you want an extra you know, burst of eight frames a second, you can put it in crop mode and you can shoot a faster frame rate. Um, this lens and this camera is, just yields incredibly sharp results. I've been a, a huge fan of Sony for a while, and this thing is, um, is pretty much the, you know, as good as it gets for kind of traveling and being able to shoot on location. So, um, so this is pretty much my everyday go-to camera for everything else. This is my uh, A7, and uh, on here I've got the 24-70 Zeiss lens. I love this camera, super light. Um, always have a tripod adapter on it because I'll shoot a lot of long exposures, like shooting waterfalls or northern lights or whatever it is. This is my go-to. Um, the sensor on this thing is incredible. It's probably a step up from here. Um, quality is unreal. And uh, I've actually shot a lot of you know, action with it. Autofocus is, is pretty great too. 
Um, in here, just keep electronics cleaner. A lot of times it'll be, you know, sea moisture and stuff, and I just want to be able to clean that out. Uh, rag or uh, a little, you know, camera cloth. A 50 millimeter F1.8 Zeiss. This is great because when I want to shoot portraits, like I said, I try to keep everything on me I need for the trip. So I've got my all around lens, I've got my action lens, and I've got a Zeiss, you know, epic portrait lens too. And so that kit can cover kind of anything I need if, if in fact everything else gets lost. And then a bunch of extra batteries as well. Um, so lastly, I always carry this little kind of side pouch in my pack, which is great because when you're running through the airport, you're in a heavy pack, the last thing you want to do is take it off and grab out something easy like a cell phone charger. So in here basically is another rad little Scotch item, which is a, um, a wall mount charger as well as a, um, as well as a cigarette adapter charger that you can just pull out, pops into itself. Um, with that, I have a iPhone 5 charger. It also has a micro USB, so this pretty much charges 90% of the items that I'm bringing with me, this thing will charge it. Um, I've got in here a, uh, so lastly in here, just another little lens cleaning cloth. Um, just always kind of pack a bunch of these all over your bag. It's great when you need them and you reach into a pocket and they're just there. Um, and then I usually have a little set of Olo clips. And these are just like awesome little portable um, camera lens clips that you can use on your iPhone. Um, there's you know wide angle adapters, there's telephotos, there's macro adapters. These are these are awesome to use. I, I love using these things and I'll travel with them and shoot stuff out of the airplane. And the cool thing is that nowadays, you know, for most of your scenic stuff, your iPhone kind of works pretty awesome. So there it is. That's basically my everyday go-to travel kit right here. Um, thanks for sitting with us through this. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free just to you know, write in the comments below the video and, and I'll try to get back to you as best I can with the gear that I'm using. And uh, like I said, I think that you know, for me, a big part of traveling is keeping it light. And although this doesn't seem light, it feels pretty light to me. So thanks again. Bye. Chance, you're getting out of the water. You've traveled all this way. This is exactly what you've been waiting for. Freezing cold conditions with perfect waves. And although I couldn't even feel my finger, to push the trigger, I knew.